P365 versus Walter PPQ SC. Quick part two because uh, look at my comparison video, but I didn't do at extender range anything past seven yards. So I'm gonna use the pinky extender magazines because really that's the only way I shoot really good with them. And I'm gonna use the hottest stuff because I think it's a little more accurate, the SMB. So I'm gonna shoot it with the SMB, five rounds each, at 15 yards, 45 feet. Going for center mass, guys. Uh, I think in the other videos, I always started with the PPQ first. Let's mix it up a little bit in case I was starting to shoot the SIG better because I was doing the same stuff with the second pistol. So let's start with the SIG and then go to the wall there. All right. First shots past seven yards with a 365 for me. Oh my God, I got a big circle. Okay. Big circle center mass. I'm shooting fairly rapid there. I have no idea how those are. Stitched them across the nipples. Um, I guess most people probably aren't into that. I don't know where the fifth shot was. Oh, it was the fifth shot high center. Uh, this is 115 SMB, really hot center. No, one shot's way high left. So I threw one shot way high. Um, okay, interesting results for the 365. Now, same thing, five rounds, same ammo, same target, same range. Okay. PPQ SC. Again, I think that was about the same kind of pacing. Uh, is that one, instead of one left high, one left a little high with the wall there. And it looks like I had a bit more of a four shot grouping with the wall there. Kind of all five shots were a little more centered with the wall there. Um, so is that a slight win for the wall there, I guess? And the flyer wasn't as uh, outside the, the zone. So four hits in the zero and four and two and one each negative one for both, I guess, on this type of target. So, uh, you know, maybe uh, again there we're seeing a little bit, you know, of an advantage in size for something extreme like a 15 yard defensive gun use. Um, I think the SIG makes up for it a little bit because of the excellent x-ray sights that are on it. That definitely helps kind of make up for its smallness and makes it still a pretty capable uh, platform super small platform or backup platform or skinny people inside waistband platform so uh, final thoughts both pretty good pistols maybe better for the uh, bigger people out there that in America or whatever that weigh over say 170 and maybe better for the people that kind of weigh under 150 uh, perhaps or really good for big guys as a backup very light uh, you know, law enforcement. I'm not a fan of ankle carry, but this could be ankle carried. This is lighter than lighter than this, and the Glock 26 are the same weight with a empty mag inside, actually. So uh, at 21.2 ounces, I think 21.5 with an empty flush mag, and this is 17.8 going off memory. So anyway, that was at 15 yards. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Check out part one. And check out their individual first shot, first impressions video. Hopefully you like this series. Tell me what you want to get going on. Thanks, guys.